Hello people and welcome to another Rita's vlog. Today is another wonderful day in Tenerife and we're gonna go slalom sailing. Hopefully it's gonna be enough wind for Finn and uh, yeah, follow along. Let's check out the conditions, how they are now. So, as you can see, the tractor is working, um, making the beach ready for the tourists. And the sun is shining, waves, small waves are rolling in and the wind is already blowing lightly it should increase later in the morning and um yeah provide us with uh, plenty of entertainment on the water well, yeah, while the wind is getting started let's check the cabeza station um for accurate measurements um yeah at the moment north easterly direction already which is a good thing that's the proper trade winds direction here and uh, yeah it's only like 5 to 7, 6 to 9 knots at the moment uh, but usually in the morning and during the night the wind stays further outside in the channel between uh, Tenerife and Gran Canaria and then during the morning it fills in closer to the shore and into the bay so that's completely normal I would expect the wind to come at around 10 o'clock to 11 that should be enough for uh, for my 8.4 and the big board uh, with Finn. Um, other guys might be still going on foil. Um, however, I broke a second foil in a week um, yesterday. Um, not completely, I didn't lose anything this time, but uh, there is a big crack at the base of the mast, so I cannot use it anymore. Um, so yeah, going on a Finn again. The thing that I do in the mornings uh, when uh, I'm still waiting for wind is practicing uh, a little bit of Spanish because you know it's useful to know quite a bit of Spanish to get around here when you're spending a lot of time in Tenerife and I think it's also nice towards local people if you're able to speak their language so Duolingo is my app of choice and uh, yeah just gonna practice a little bit. I have two knives, tengo dos cuchillos. Bravo. I need three spoons. Ellos Necesitan. necesitan tres cucharas. cucharas. So this is the wonderful creation that I've come up with for breakfast, inspired by Michael Phelps. Athletes diet. Hashtag. Hello guys, meet my roommate, this is Shaka and he has the cutest puppy eyes i ever seen and he seems to be interested in the camera as well or perhaps more in uh, my sandwich <laughs> which do you like more Shaka? Shaka is more uh, I think he likes more the egg sandwich He likes uh, vegetables a lot what dog likes vegetables? No, really, he likes me. He eats. <laughs> especially, especially fruits, man. He likes orange and this that I eat. How do you say kissel? Sour. Sour. <laughs> a vegetarian dog, eh? You don't look like a vegetarian dog. But the girls that follow me follow me for different reasons than the girls that follow you guys. <laughs> That's yeah, right. You need to factor <laughs> this in, okay? Wow, well, you know. Pause, have, my answer picture. You have to be hard around. That's actually. <laughs> that's, that's now my ass looks better <laughs> on the position. No, but this video we need to do with uh, Nico Green because he's like the best poser in windsurfing ever. I've never seen a guy who can do such a perfect smile while doing a lay down jive as Nico, you know? Wow. How much? Power it up. 17 to 23. Okay. Already. Okay, I'm gonna read my seven. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I think I go with yeah. six, with four. And five, three superhero. I mean, like no forecast was yeah. showing to be no, more than twenty knots. No, only that. It's always like this. Now, when it's forecasting a little bit, you can add. Fuck. No, I don't have a medium board when I'm even thinking. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said. So here, as you can see, I'm approaching the start. Below me is Tristan Erikivi from Estonia. Currently, we have just 
10 seconds left to the start and at this point I'm starting to accelerate and also you can see below is Enrico and Matteo. Now approaching the start here I see that it's 2 seconds and in my opinion um, we are approaching too fast, too soon and I'm starting to hesitate a little bit and at this point you can see me put on the brakes lift the front foot and press down on the back foot um, to avoid going what I think is going to be over early. Tristan below me and Thomas as you'll see just now above me accelerate and for some reason it was not an over early. I'm still a little bit iffy about that um, but basically yeah, I braked they didn't and as you can see three seconds after the start they are already a board length in front of me. And going forward from here, I'm in really bad position because I'm sandwiched between Tristan below, who is really fast in these conditions, so I cannot pick the line with the waves that I want or go below, and Thomas covering the wind from above, so not the position you want to end up in. So here I go above Thomas' line to get clear wind and clear water, and I start to accelerate from there. Uh, at the bottom you see Enrico fighting with Matteo and now we are approaching the mark. So here you can see Enrico and Matteo are too far in front of me to do anything so I'm just gonna focus on overtaking the three guys right in front of me. Tristan, Thomas and uh, Maxi. Tristan looks like he's gonna go for the inside but right here you can see that he hesitates and uh, he's afraid that Maxi will close the inside for him. Thomas at the moment is being pushed outside by them both so then I know that there's probably gonna be quite a bit of space on the inside and I'm gonna attack that coming from the top and try to exit right near the mark. So as you can see here is a huge space in which I'm aiming. Tristan is already losing his board speed and he's going into the wave so I know for sure that he's gonna stop. Um, Thomas is completely on the outside, so he is irrelevant for me. And Maxi hasn't closed the gap completely, so I know I will have enough space. So I lay it down, and you can see Tristan here as I thought stopped. He closed the gap a little bit more than I expected, but I still have more than enough space um, to fit in. So everyone's kind of hit a lull here. You can see even Enrico stopped. Maxi is below pumping, and the goal here is to pump as hard and get into full speed as fast as possible. So this is what I'm doing. I had a really decent jibe, and as you can see, already after this jibe, I've straight overtaken Tristan. I'm right on top of uh, Maxi and Thomas, and Enrico is right in front. At this point, I decide that Enrico is going to be too fast to catch, and I'm just gonna focus on overtaking the guys below me. So what I do here is try to bear down on them and cover them as soon as possible. And as you can see here, you can see the corner um, that Maxi's board, I'm able to cover Maxi and go over the top of him to force him go above me and behind me. However, um, Thomas manages to accelerate really fast from below as you can see here and I just don't have enough speed at this point going to the outside um, to cover him and ensure that I go into third position straight away. So yeah, here I already moved into fourth position after coming last to the first uh, mark and you can see Enrico blasting from the top and Thomas pulling a little bit away from the bottom. So going into the second jibe, once again I'm going to try to take the inside going from higher and hopefully overtake Thomas here. But unfortunately I don't manage to find a good wave and I completely stop and get stuck on the jibe. So yeah, my mistake and that Thomas manages to pull away and even Maxi got there below me a little bit. Um, so now going back on the inside it's really important to read the waves and as you can see I'm gonna be trying to catch the wave and ride down the wave or in the valley of the wave to accelerate and get more speed. So right here as you can see um, 
finding this big spot here that I know is gonna move down I'm gonna try to use that to accelerate and catch Thomas a bit uh, so here I'm in the valley and getting pushed by the wave and accelerating and as you can see I'm already gaining on Thomas however I realize that I'm not gonna be able to catch him uh, before this mark so once again I go a little bit higher I'm gonna try to go on the inside of him but here he closes the gap really well and even though I do a good job, um, he does a good one as well and I don't gain uh, much uh, on this jibe. He he's a little bit lighter than me so he accelerates out the jibe just a touch faster and he has really good control going to the outside. But I push nonetheless and I try to read the water and attack the water in front of me. So as you can see it's quite choppy and going right into the sun it's really hard to see uh, much it's not just in the camera it's actually as hard to see something when you're out on the board as well and here let's stop for a second going into the last jibe I see that Thomas is quite low on the line going into the jibe which means that he is going to come out quite wide so if I go a little bit higher and further and try to exit right at the mark if I read the waves well, I know I will be able to come on top of Thomas and be in a good position to attack him when coming out of the jibe. So this is my mindset going into this jibe. And as I said, Thomas um, tries to catch a wave and actually closes the gap more than I expected. But still I managed to come right on top of him and with a little bit more speed. So now it's basically the matter of who accelerates faster out of the jibe and who has more speed to the finish line. So here I'm hooking in and once I'm in, I start looking for waves immediately to accelerate. Thomas is right below me and here I find this little wave that I accelerate down on and basically I'm at this point, I'm already able to cover Thomas as you can see only the side of his board is there so it means I'm already giving him just a touch of dirty wind and then um, basically I'm disturbing him a little bit and I continue reading the waves here quite well and going down this wave I accentuate my lead essentially and here I'm already in front so I just had a quick glance back to check if I'm already in front of him and I am so then I can just focus on getting to the line nicely and here in the end, just saying thanks for a good fight, uh, as that's what we're looking for here in training. We want to push each other as much as I can, and yeah, thanks for Thomas and other guys who never uh, give me an easy win. Alright, so I just came back home, as you can see, still with all the sunscreen on, uh, dogs greeted me, now we're all chilling on the couch, uh, but yeah, to sum up the day, we had uh, three sessions in total with 8-4 uh, and the big board, um, the first session was powered up, second session light, and third session super underpowered, so we only did like two or three races on it, and uh, yeah. 84 85 kilometers in total so quite a bit of distance feeling a little bit tired um hope you enjoyed watching the race with the comments on where i don't do a, such a good start but then come back to third place um hope you learned something from it that will be it for today now i'll start doing recovery eating as much as i can and uh editing this video so thanks for watching it and see you next time ciao no actually we'll let chaka say ciao Shaka. Ciao.